Good morning everyone. How are we all doing? Fat bastard here. Oh, I feel like a fat bastard. Another full English breakfast. I'm not used to this sort of thing. Oh dear. I'm getting a bit bloated. Yes. Well, I'm just on my way to uh, see the old man just outside York. So, uh, get all of his matters over and done with. Gold cup. So, uh, I'm on my uh, way to York. I bumped into someone last night. Um, he's an amateur photographer, Richard Howlett. And uh, he's taking some fantastic shots. He sent me a couple of photos. Um, yeah, this one here. And another one. I'll see if I can zoom in a bit on this one. Just so that uh, you can see the name on the helmet. White Rock Rider. Yours truly. He's uh, very good. He has his own website as well. Does quite a bit of motorsport. But, uh, yeah, I'll uh, stick a link in the uh, description to his website. And uh, hopefully you go, you go and uh, have a look. He does have uh, specific pages for uh, certain riders. And I think he's doing one for uh, Ryan. So, uh, top marks. Well done. Okay, we're uh, getting close to uh, where the old man lives. Um, oh, what's this? Ah, railway crossing. Ah, I've not been over one of these on a the bike before. We don't have them on the island. Wow, that is fantastic. Oh, wow. Yeah, piece of cake, uh, but it's just a novelty thing. I've not done it before. On oh, my travels, anyway. So, uh, yeah. Uh, no problem at all. No problem at all. So, um, obviously it's uh, family stuff at the moment. So, uh, I'll see you in a couple of days' time when uh, I start heading off home. Catching a few. Right, good morning. Gigantor here. Well, I certainly feel like Gigantor anyway. Bloody hell. Jesus Christ. I only had a bowl of cereal and a couple of bits of toast this morning, but uh, Jesus Christ. I'll tell you what, for an 85 year old, he can certainly put away the food. Bloody hell. Jesus Christ. I was starting to struggle a little bit. Bloody hell. Uh, well, mind you, it's good to see. I must admit, it's good to see. No. Someone of that sort of age, you know, their appetite's normally sort of diminishing, you know, they don't eat a lot, but Jesus Christ, he's still packing it away. You know, he's the same sort of build as me, so uh, he's not a fat person by any chance. But Jesus Christ, he can certainly put it away. I was amazed, really amazed. Well, you're good to see. You know, good for him. No, he's still active, brought as a button and everything else, so, uh, yeah, I just hope I'm like that, uh, when I'm his age. That'll be nice, still enjoying life, etc, etc, getting out and about. Well, I know he's had a couple of hip replacements, etc, so he's hobbling a bit, but, nevertheless, he still gets out and about here, there and everywhere, yeah. Really good to see, really good to see. Anyway, on another note, um, I've been on the road for about an hour, um, I've decided to hit the motorway straight off, I don't want to do all the, all, the, all the hassle of going around the A and B roads and what have you, I think I'm at the stage where I just want to get home, home as quick as possible, so uh, I'm currently on the M1 at the moment, so uh, I'll see you uh, when we get close to Southampton. See you in a bit.
Hello and welcome back. I'm nearing Southampton, oh, I think about 10 miles away or something like that. Not too far. Uh, we've got uh, some roadworks going on or something's going on. It's a speed restriction, 50 mile an hour. But, uh, hey, it's not too bad. About 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Seems really nice it off at uh, 9 o'clock. I think I've made pretty good time about 300 odd miles or whatever it is so uh, yeah, well chuffed so hopefully uh, they'll be able to fit me on uh, an earlier boat so sort of hanging around and what have you they run sort of every hour so I think the next one's going to be about half past two so with any luck I might just catch that one all being well but uh, yeah I've had a good journey down no serious hold-ups or anything like that. Everything sort of ran quite nicely. Roads were always flowing. So, uh, yeah, I'm happy. I'll be even happy if I catch the half-past two boat. It'd be wonderful. Now, things have worked out just right, haven't they? Walk straight on the boat, get to the ferry terminal straight on the boat. Yeah, I'll see you back on the island, guys. As you can see, I'm back on the island. I should be home. But I certainly noticed a difference in some of the driving. God, hang on, let's get back past this Land Rover first, I think. Otherwise, I'll never get past him. The one thing I've noticed, you know, just coming back to the island, you know, the few miles I have done, back over here after being away on the mainland for a, a week is how flaky the, the drivers are uh, they sort of they don't seem to really know what they're doing they're sort of drifting along in their own little world I don't know I think it's something I'll get used to hey guys that's the uh, trip over and done with Thanks for watching, I hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to try and give it a like if you like it. Hope you enjoyed uh, some of the racing. And uh, until next time, goodbye.